The countercurrent multiplier, also known as the countercurrent exchange system, is the method that the nephron uses to concentrate urine. For a lot of people, just the name of this process is daunting. Countercurrent multiplier sounds like a complicated math formula or something, but it's really much easier than it sounds. To begin with, let's look at the anatomy of the nephron and its place in the kidney. If you recall, the kidney is divided into the outer portion, the cortex, and the inner portion, the medulla. The glomerulus and proximal tubule are located in the outer cortex. The loop of Henle descends down into the medulla of the kidney, loops around, and comes back up. By the time it becomes the distal tubule, it's back in the cortex. The collecting ducts then descend back down into the medulla and eventually empty the filtrate into the calluses and renal pelvis. For starters, I want you to think of the medulla as being very salty. In fact, at the bottom of the loop of Henle, the sodium concentration is about 300 milliequivalents per liter, which is double that of the blood. The loop of Henle has some special characteristics that explain why that is, and it's really all about saving energy. So the descending loop of Henle is extremely permeable to water, but it's impermeable to ions. So water is able to passively diffuse out of the descending limb where it is reabsorbed by the vasa recta, the vessels that surround the loop of Henle. The ascending limb, especially the thick segment, however, is the opposite. It's impermeable to water, but will use energy to actively pump ions like sodium and chloride out of the tubule into the interstitium of the medulla. When it does this, it creates a hypertonic environment around it. Because the descending limb is very permeable to water, water leaves the descending tubule without expending any energy because it is following the concentration gradient. So it is called countercurrent because the filtrate flows in opposite directions, down the descending loop and back up the ascending loop. It is called a multiplier because the active pumping of ions out of the ascending tubule multiplies the amount of water that is reabsorbed from the descending tubule. As more water is pumped out, the filtrate becomes more and more concentrated.